In this video I'm going to show you your first setup of CadLink's VPM or Visual Production Manager software. So I'm going to go to my start menu. I've already just installed my Signlab and VPM. I'm going to go to all programs. I'm going to go down to my new Signlab 10 folder and in there I've got Visual Production Manager. I'm going to click on that and because this is the first time I've used it, it's going to come straight up with the dialog box for the first time set up. So I'm going to set display units. Obviously, we can set it centimeters, inches, millimeters, or points. I'm going to go millimeters. The number of decimal places, so I'm just going to go two, makes it easier for setting up jobs. I'm going to press OK. It'll then come up with our printer installation box so this is our create Q wizard so I'm going to go next and it says printer install GDI printer or install printer so the printer I'm going to install is an Oki M series printer so I'm going to go to install printer and I'm going to go find my Oki printers on some different versions of um, VPM visual production manager it may come up as Seiko so we choose our printer and you could have different types, HP, Mamaki, Muto, uh, Roland, and down here we've got, there you go, so you've got Seiko, and we've also got Oki, I believe, as well. There we go. So, the printer I want to select is my Oki Color Painter M Series. The M Series only has one ink type. So if we were looking at a W series printer that has multiple ink types, you've got to look at the type of printer, so Oki Color Painter W, then the type of ink, which is GX or IX, and then how many colors you've got. So is it eight colors, four colors, six colors, sorry, four colors or six colors. So we would then choose the correct one. So like I said, I'm gonna go for a, a M series, I'm going to press OK. It will now search um, printer packages from the internet. If you have a DVD with that printer package on, you can just search from the DVD. However, searching online will give you the latest um, package that is available for it. So I'm going to go next. And then it will start downloading and installing that package. There we go. Next and finish. So your printer will now come up in that top box up there. The next thing we need to do is choose a port. The port is, is where the information is going to be sent to. So it's where your printer is plugged into your computer. And it's what driver we're using to send it to that. And for a Oki or Seiko printer, we're going to use a Seiko USB. If you're using an Oki E series, you're going to use the Oki E USB. So I'm going to go Seiko USB and then going to select my print mode. A print mode is the profile that we're using to print. So that's going to define the colors that come out, how much ink is being put down and how fast the printer is going to print. So as you can see, we've got a, quite a few available to us. And for this, I'm just going to go for a standard vinyl, generic vinyl on a very normal sort of standard quality. There we go. So it's got generic vinyl one, standard SX7. So SX is the type of ink that the M series uses, and then seven is seven color. I'm gonna go next. And at this point, I can install a plotter if I wanted to, a cutter. So to do that, all we need to do is go to install cutter, choose a cutter. So I'm gonna go for a GraphTech FC8600. There we go. Got to make sure we've got the right size, so 130 is the plot that I'm going to go for. And then we've got to choose the correct language. So the language I'm going to go for is HPGL. We do have the option for GPGL as well, but normally HPGL works a little bit better. But if you have problems, try the other one. Press OK. And again, search online and next. Now it will install that, that driver package for us as well.
There we go. So I'm going to press next. I'm going to press finish. We've now got our cutter there as well. I'm going to go to port. And in there we will choose our driver. Now I don't actually have a graph tech plugged in at the moment. If I did have a graph tech plugged in, it would come up with our graph tech driver. You would choose your driver and you'd go from there. If you're going to use it via ethernet, so some plotters will have an ethernet port and some printers will as well. You go onto your TCP settings and then you just put in your IP address. Just like that. And press OK. So that will set your plotter up as a, as a network plotter. And press next. And then at this point it asks you to enter a name for your production queue. So what we're doing at the moment is we're making a queue from which we're going to send our jobs to the printer and to the plotter. So for this one, I'm just going to call it print and cut because it has both the cutter set up and both the printer set up. I'm going to press next. I'm going to leave these as they are, but if I wanted to, I could add a left and a right margin. So if I wanted to make sure it's always going to print 5 million from the edge, it will do that. But remember, your printer will have a margin as well in set. I can also add a top and bottom margin as well, but I'm just going to leave everything as it is and press next. Select registration system. So this is the registration mark system that you're using for your plotter. So I've got a graph tech installed and I know that if I go to graph tech, they'll go to disabled box there, it'll come up with graph tech type one, type one segmented, type two and type two segmented. These are just different types of registration marks um, that will be printed on your job that you then use to line up to your plotter in order to cut. And the type we normally use are GraphTech Type 1. But again, there's nothing stopping you trying them. If you're not entirely sure, try it, print it out on a small job and just see how they look. If they look out um, the same as all the other ones that you've used, then that's fine. If not, we can always change them at a later point. So I'm gonna choose GraphTech Type 1, I'm gonna press next. I'm gonna leave this one as it is. All of this, this is is just so you can say, I want it to automatically nest uh, multiple jobs to minimize waste space. I'm gonna go next. I'm gonna leave these two as they are. I'm gonna press finish. You now have a fully set up print queue with your printer and your plotter ready to go.